Welcome to Daz Geek. I want to introduce you to a really cool thing that DuckDuckGo is doing. Now, if you don't know who DuckDuckGo is, they are pretty much the premier must-have premium privacy search engine out there. They're things where you can host your own, but DuckDuckGo has kind of become the staple of search engines. So if you're using Google or something else, switch to DuckDuckGo. And I'm going to give you another reason to switch to them right here. First of all, you can have DuckDuckGo on any browser, whether you're on your computer, your phones, or anything else. You can download the DuckDuckGo app, which you're going to want to do, especially after you see this video. But what's happening is Apple has introduced a way to block trackers that are coming from Facebook and Google. Basically, they're kind of hiding themselves within other apps to try to track and get information. So maybe you're really privacy focused and you don't have all these Google apps on your phone. You're trying to reduce the amount of things that Google is collecting on you. But if you install a Nike app, they can hide their services within that Nike app and then you're getting tracked through there. So it's kind of like there's no win. They're just hiding their stuff everywhere to the point where you're constantly being tracked. Well, Apple put a stop to that. They introduced their new app uh, tracking blocking features. And what this created is a $10 billion loss so far from Facebook ad revenue, Google ad revenue, and other things when Apple introduced this. So it was a really big deal. Unfortunately, Android's not following suit. Android hasn't released anything like this. They're consistently and constantly the last four or five years behind Apple when it comes to these things, which is a real shame. But DuckDuckGo is kind of picking up this torch and running with it. I wish companies like Firefox, who typically were the ones doing this kind of stuff, would pick up this man, this torch and run with it. But it's DuckDuckGo. So we've got DuckDuckGo here, and they're introducing a new feature. You should already be using their browser and their search engine for sure. But this is a new feature of blocking these apps just like Apple's doing it. So they talk about what I just mentioned companies hiding their information in other apps and they these trackers are designed to record your activity in real time where you're at what you're doing where you've been how many hours you sleep at night it is creepy it is so unbelievably big brother creepy the stuff these ads are doing privacy respecting ads are fine unfortunately they've gone so far there's no regulations especially here in the u.s and they can do whatever they want to the point where now we've just got to knock them back down. We've got to take all the revenue away until they bring back some privacy respecting stuff. Companies like DuckDuckGo, they make money in a very privacy respecting way. If I search for a toaster, I'm going to see an ad for a toaster. I could click on that ad if I want, or I could just continue to go through the results. They're not going to track my information. They're not going to gather information on me and how many times I've looked for toasters in the last seven days and what sites I visit afterwards. None of that. I search for toaster, get a toaster ad. I'm good with this. This is fine. I get to use their service. They get to send me ads that I may or may not need. And that's the end of our transaction. That's how it should be. Unfortunately, these companies are just out of freaking control. So across all your apps, your personal data is sent to dozens of third-party companies thousands of times per week. Companies like Facebook and Google create even more digital profiles on everything you're doing all your friends, and then they're selling all of this data that they have to other data brokers who are selling them data from other sites. So nothing you have from your banking or anything else is private. 96% of the popular free Android apps we tested based on AndroidRank.org rankings contain hidden third-party trackers. Of those, 87% sent data to Google and 68% sent data to Facebook. This is one of the things I've always hated about the Andrew Mark Android market is that so many things are free and you know what happens when they're free you're the product so when you're the product and you get that app for free and you're like man when i'm on apple it charges me a dollar 99 well at least i'm not getting my data stolen i'd rather pay that dollar 99 than get that free app out there and of course who does this primarily target these ad companies who does it primarily take advantage of who people who can't afford to pay for apps and things of course it's always those who are poor or less fortunate, they're always the ones taken the most advantage of out of everybody. They're, they're willing to sell their data or give away information unknowingly so they can get some of this free stuff. And that's who these companies are basically predators against. But DuckDuckGo has their new app tracking protection for Android. It's in beta. You have to sign up. I'm going to show you around DuckDuckGo's app here in a second on a Lenovo tablet. 
but go ahead and download this app and sign up for this. This is just such a really awesome idea. How does it work? After enabling the app tracking protection, DuckDuckGo will detect your Android apps are about to send to third-party tracking companies found in the app tracker data set and block those requests. You can enjoy the apps like you normally would. So it's going to let you know how many of those it's blocking. It's gonna block those third-party requests and this is gonna be a game changer if you get this on your Android. Download it, open settings, app tracking protection, click join the private waitlist. I've been on this waitlist. I really hope they'll let me in because I want this so bad on my phone itself. And there's some more information on how you can manage and how all this protection works, but it's just an awesome idea. So let's take a look at DuckDuckGo browser real quick so I could show you around. It's gonna work just like any other browser, whether you're using Firefox or Chrome on your Android. It's gonna work like any other browser, but you're gonna have all of that additional protection in there and some other cool features as well. Okay, this is it. This is a DuckDuckGo browser running on a tablet. Look very similar on your phone. And so this is a first install. So it's gonna say, do you wanna set this as your default browser? Of course we do. So then we click set as default. And then it's gonna say, hey, go to one of your favorite sites and we'll tell you if they're spying on you. So it's not one of my favorite sites, but we'll just go ahead and go here. And it's gonna say, heads up, I can't stop Google from seeing your activity on google.com, but browse with me and I can reduce. Well, it's kind of going through a little tutorial here. We can go to things like DuckDuckGo and utilize it as our primary search engine for everything here. And obviously if you're downloading their app by default, that's what you'll have. DuckDuckGo searches are anonymous, never store search history ever. And you also have this flame icon here. Now this personal data can build up in your browser, use the fire button to burn it all away. So this is going to clear out all your tabs, any of the data, cookies, things in there. And you could do that randomly. You could just go in and click that fire tab and clear all of your data. So everything in here built by default to respect your privacy. And then it says, you've got this. Remember every time you browse with me, a creepy ad loses its wings. That's pretty funny there. So now we're gonna go into settings. And you can see we have two options in our settings. We have the email protection and we have the app tracking protection. So if we go into app tracking protection, I've already joined the wait list on my phone, but I'll go ahead and join it here. If you have an invite code, of course you can uh, do that. So if somebody has an invite code they could send me, that would be pretty freaking awesome. But I'm on the list, I'm waiting for this beta. This is an awesome thing to sign up for. Number one, it's a good thing to start using your DuckDuckGo as your search engine download the app and use it as your browser. Join this wait list. When this comes out, you're gonna be so creeped out of how many ads and data and information is running in the background that it's gonna block, but it's hopefully going to get these companies to stop and think about, it's fine to do ads, but they need to respect your privacy. Stop taking our data. Stop uh, being predators against those who are less fortunate because ultimately that's what they do can't afford things like VPNs and other blockers and services and things out there. I'm so happy that companies like DuckDuckGo exist. Awesome job to the team at DuckDuckGo. Cannot wait to try this product. I hope more things like this come out there. Please go out there and check out my sponsor, DigitalOcean. Go to do.co slash DLN. Grab your $100 credit. They have 5,000 cloud agnostic tutorials for setting up servers. If you want to learn Docker, Kubernetes, all of that type of stuff, and get your brains all absorbed with all kinds of IT goodness, DigitalOcean is the place to go. do.co slash DLN, get your free $100 credit there. Thank you to all my patrons for all your support. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains.